I'm Stan, CTO at IABM, and today we're going to talk about uh, the streaming industry and some stuff that's going on there. It's it's, it's kind of cool. I'm so lucky to have Sergi on here, CTO and co-founder of Oxygel. Good to see you, Sergi. Good to see you too, Stan. And uh, just tell us a little bit about uh, Oxygel for a second. Oh, yeah, really briefly. Uh, we are a custom software engineering company with fully fo- focus, uh, with a full focus on video solutions development and delivery for our customers. Right. So what's your view of the streaming industry? What are the key challenges at the moment that uh, content uh, distributors as well as software vendors uh, are, are dealing with in 2023? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, uh, we've been on the market for 18 years. And uh, for this time, I'm constantly observing the situation uh, on the media st- streaming market. Um, uh, as well as the requests, and we have quite a few of them um, that our clients address to Oxygel. So, well, it's safe to say that uh, the industry now is in flux, and, and there are several factors contributing to that. The first one is growing competition among the market players, such as content creators, content aggregators, distributors, streaming software providers, uh, people we work with. Um, since, since OTT as the innovative technological solution entered the, the arena 20 years ago, a wide variety of OTT services were launched. And consumers now can, as you know, uh, easily choose and pick and switch, uh, use several, uh, several providers or services simultaneously. Obviously, content is a king, right? But um, software, uh, but, but aggregators and distributors hold for poor quality of the delivery um, or clumsy user experience, they will certainly face customer churn. And this is applicable for software providers as well who deliver the necessary platforms that power up uh, this type of um, uh, direct-to-consumer experiences. Secondly is the specific industry standards and changing view and habits uh, of consumers that shape up the market. Uh, and here, let's take the example of uh, stream media services in sports segment. Because one of the trickiest technical things in sports streaming is ensuring it's high quality. Uh, why, you may ask? Well, because sports is mo- mainly watched live. And life is hard. We all know that. Well, um, I'm glad you brought up live here. You, oh, you yeah. <laughs> and you're, you're right, because low latency, delivering low latency uh, with, with high quality at scale, withstanding the peak loads at the sign up, sign up or purchase time before the live event starts, um, or handling increased user engagement activity uh, during the peak game moments or most interesting game moments, all that requires stream providers building resilient and flexible infrastructures uh, or or and technology to sustain significant load spikes otherwise they may lose customers um, yeah i think i think when we look at uh, at the live aspect that's been the the biggest issue as far as oh, yeah. uh, as, as streaming goes and uh, and obviously the, the 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 latency issue in that so let's just talk about agile engineering for a minute uh, what's what's your uh, your opinion that lies behind that um, for us, uh, it's mainly uh, about four components uh, to make it agile. Uh, the first one is consumer-driven product design. Um, getting to the true needs and wants uh, of the viewers through design thinking, user story mapping, product market fit research, and other product design practices enables you to, to design the right MVP quickly and, and meet customer expectations precisely. Second is technical agility. By constantly researching and accumulating the industry's best practices, tools, technologies, frameworks, uh, content distributors, and OT platform providers can, can smoothly um, and timely adapt the current OTT technologies to the new innovative advancements. The third one, um, from my perspective, is, is vendor collaboration. While, while some market players may require outsourcing of narrow specialized video, video expertise, uh, the others may need to delegate the full cycle OTT platform engineering to a, to a technological vendor. This flexibility while, while working with vendors adds agility to, to OTT engineering from, from my perspective. And finally, I'd say it's, it's the agility of the partner engagement model. Having a trusted long-term relationship uh, and expert technological par- with expert technological partner, um, we can get fully immersed into the client's business. Uh, with that, it becomes possible to, to explore the engagement models 
tied to the client product success, uh, such as outcome-based contracts, investment or co-partnership models, revenue sharing, and more. That's well, um, yeah. from our perspective. Our, our research is certainly showing partnerships are the, the oh, most yeah. important aspect uh, within the industry at the moment. Sounds like you're going there. So so just tell me about one of your uh, success stories that's, uh, you know, that's been powered by your engineering. Yeah, there are several examples. I'll give you uh, a few recent ones. So um, uh, the first one is uh, our collaboration with uh, AJ Video Systems, an industry leader uh, in the in the video and broadcast market. Uh, we designed and developed the plugin for the Disco Discover Data product, allowing content creators, distributors, and broadcasters to validate IMF packages before the delivery, regardless of the location of the end user or IMF package data. Uh, we released the solution within the shortest possible uh, time frame. Um, thanks to our agile engineering practices, just in time before the last 10 AB, uh, where it was successfully demoed by AG. Since then, we became two partners, and we are both benefiting now from the plugin sales. Another client uh, of ours is Iconic Media, uh, totally different segment, uh, a leader in online video delivery. They, they approached Tux Agile with their existing video platform redesign. From the very beginning, our experts dived into understanding of their customer expectations and end user pains, helped with market research, test several hypotheses. Shortly after, we launched an MVP, and then it rapidly delivered um, a powerful and feature-rich content management, uh, distribution platform, and multi-screen video app engine. The collaboration powered by our agile engineering is still ongoing, with more features being added regularly in response to the end user feedback and demands. Well, certainly, uh, you know, everybody is uh, suffering on the streaming side with churn and uh, and things like that. So having, uh, you know, a consistent platform that delivers uh, not only just great content, but also technically delivers, I think, is is most important. And we're seeing a lot of these pop ups these days that uh, that, that that just aren't cutting it. So it's really great to see uh, people like yourself solid in the business. Thanks for the chat today, Sergi. Thank you very much, Stan. Have a great day.